Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic baseball fans. I'm here with another Mismatch Monday. It's the Sportsman Z Mismatch Monday matchup. And today, I've got a real Mismatch Monday. I mean, this, if I ever did one, this is one. This is going to be the 22, the 2022 Atlanta Braves, who won 101 games and scored 789 runs against the 2022 Pittsburgh Pirates, who were 62 and 100 and in fourth place in their division and only scored 591 runs. So this is truly a mismatch Monday. Um... And uh, on the mound for the uh, for the um, Pittsburgh Pirates today is going to be Bryce Wilson. And in bright in uh, 2022, you can see the card right there. In 2022, Bryce Wilson was three and nine with a 5.52 earned run average. He allowed 132 hits in 116 innings. And I know what you're saying. You're saying, hey, Sportsman Z, this team is bad. Why do you have to pitch one of their worst pitchers? Can I just tell you, Bryce Wilson is like par for the course for this team. He's, I mean, he may not be their best pitcher, but I mean, who really was? So, and then for the... Uh, for the Braves, we're going to have Ian Anderson on the mound. Now, I am trying to even the odds a little bit. There's um, Ian Anderson's card. I'm trying to even the odds a little bit. Ian Anderson was 10-6 and six with a 5 earned run average in 2022. So the pitchers themselves are pretty evenly matched. The offenses, however, really are not. And um, we are playing in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is for uh, weather effects. For a single, it's a 1 to 14 for lefties, 1 to 11 for righties. And its home run effect is a 1 to 7 for lefties and a 1 to 4 for righties. And I want to point out this new scorebook I've got. Take a look at that bad boy. That is really good. That's good stuff right there. I ordered this on Facebook, I believe, on the. Um, Stratomatic Baseball Marketplace from Paul Barone. He did an excellent job on this scorebook. I love it. Now, of course, you can see it has the White Sox, kind of the White Sox emblem there. Well, that's because I'm a White Sox fan. But the White Sox are not playing in this game. The White Sox were not bad enough to be either the, um, uh, the, the number one team in, the, um, in, a, in a mismatch, nor the the beat up team in the uh, mismatch but this one certainly fits that bill and so we're going to get started with the Braves of 22 taking on the Pirates of 22 the Braves lineup will be Ronald Acuna leading off and playing right field uh, Vaughn Grissom will bat second and be the second baseman Matt Olson will bat third and be the first baseman Austin Riley is going to bat in the cleanup spot and be the third baseman. Then you got Dansby Swanson at shortstop. He's on the Cubs now in real life, but last year he was on the Braves. Then you got Michael Harris in center field. You're going to have Marcelo Zuna as the DH. And uh, Travis Darnode will be the catcher for the Braves. And batting in the ninth spot and playing left field will be Wilson Contreras for the Braves. So let's get that lineup going. Let's get this thing underway with Ronald Acuna, who gets a 5-4, and that's a 5-4. He is a righty batting against a righty in Bryce Wilson, and that is going to be a fly ball center field X, and I knew it. Right off the bat, we are on a center fielder. Is not quite as good. He's a 3 E3, and that's a 4, and that will probably be a base hit. That is actually a double. So Acuna gets a double. Sorry, I almost made a, a pretty, pretty big error there. And then uh, Grissom is the batter, coming up second against Bryce Wilson. 
and he gets a 4-6, and he's a righty, and that is going to be a... That's going to be a double. So another double, and that scores a Cunha. And all of a sudden, you got two hits coming in on the first two batters for the Braves. It is a mismatch Monday, after all. Matt Olson is the next batter. He gets a 1-4, and he's batting against a righty, and that's going to be a strikeout. Bryce Wilson. Kays Olson. Unbelievable. And then uh, Austin Riley is up. Man, it's second still. Now with only one out. And he gets a 3-9, and he is going to strike out against Bryce Wilson. So Bryce Wilson comes back big time with two strikeouts. And that gives way to Dansby Swanson, with the Braves only having scored one run so far. And that is going to be a 4-6. He is a righty. 4-6 is going to be another... Uh, well, it's uh, at least a no, it's a single, but it does score the runner from second. So Swanson with a single... That scores the run, and there is it's two nothing, and Michael Harris at bat, and he gets a two six, and going up against a righty is a ground ball pitcher B, so he grounds out one to three, but not before the Braves get two runs. Looks like they might have gotten out of that inning without you know unscathed, but it didn't quite happen like that. And now the Pirates are up against Ian Anderson with with Newman. Hello, Newman. Kevin Newman gets a 3-5, and he is batting against uh, a righty. And uh, that is going to be a single. So the Pirates lead off with their own hit, a hit of their own. And Cabrian Hayes is the next batter. And by the way, the lineup for the Pirates is Newman in right, or Newman, Newman at second, Cabrian Hayes batting second, third baseman. Uh, Brian Reynolds will be in center field and batting third. Sawinski is the right fielder today and batting fourth. After him is O'Neill Cruz batting in the fifth spot, the shortstop. The sixth batter is um, going to be Rodolfo Castro, switch hitter, and he is the DH. And then Diego Castillo will be the first baseman batting seventh. Ben Gamble is going to be the eighth batter batting, um, playing left field. And then Tyler Heineman will be catching for the Pirates today. So, one aboard and no outs in Cabrian Hayes. And he gets a 1-2, and that is going to be against a righty. That's a strikeout. So there's a K for Ian Anderson. And Brian Reynolds is up with one down. And he gets a 4-5. And 4-5, he is a switch hitter, so he's batting left. And that would be a ground ball, second base, double play, Reynolds hits into a DP, and no runs come across for the Pirates, obviously. And we go to the top of the second inning. And Marcelo Zuna is batting against Bryce Wilson. He gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a home run. Ozuna House. And he is out of here. He's out of the house. So he hits a home run. And it is 3-0 just like that. Travis Darnode is the batter for the Braves. He gets a 4-10 and he is a righty going up against Bryce Wilson. And that's going to be a catcher card. X, the catcher for the uh the Pirates is a 3E8. That is a roll of 12. Probably going to be in his E rating. And it is. And he is an E8. So I'm going to roll the dice. And that is a 10 on an E8 for catcher. And that 
is going to be a ground ball C. So he grounds out uh, two to three. And Contreras is now the batter with one down. Here in the second, top of the second, three, seven, that is going to be a single to left field. So Contreras with a single. And Ronald Acuna, who led off the game with a rip double down the right field line. And he gets a 5-11. 5-11 for a righty. That's going to be a ground ball first base X. The first baseman for the Pirates is not good. He's a 5-E-30. That is a 2, so you got to believe that's a base hit. 2-5. Uh, that's a single double S. Strix. And that puts runners at the um, at the corners and Vaughn Grissom is the batter it's a good thing the Pirates have a lot of guys on their roster because they're going to need a lot of pitchers 3-7 that is going to be a ground ball shortstop B and um, that uh, allows the run the runner from third to score but there's two outs um, so that's a fielder's choice, and it's the fourth run for the Braves, and Matt Olson is now the batter. And he gets a 6-8. He is a left-handed batter, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Olson has struck out twice, surprisingly, against Bryce Wilson, but the Braves do strike for two more runs, and I'm sure that he'd be the first one to tell you, Olsen would, that he cares more about whether the team wins than what his personal statistics are. Uh, as long as the team wins, hey, he's happy, and Jack Sawinski is the batter here in the bottom of the second for the Pirates. He gets a 5-7. He is a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Sawinski goes down on strikes. That's the second strikeout today for Ian Anderson of the Braves. And um, where is my column die? What happened? Didn't see it. It blended in with the pitcher. So O'Neill Cruz is the batter, and he gets a 212. And 212 against a righty is going to be a line out second base max. So he lines out to second. And that brings up Rodolfo Castro. And he gets a 1-4, and against a righty, that is going to be a ballpark single. He is a switch hitter batting left, and uh, that is a roll of one, so that is a single. So Rodolfo Castro works his way aboard with a single. And Diego Castillo is the batter. And he gets a 5-5. Five, five. He is a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X. The shortstop is 1. That is a 19. I'm going to guess that that's an out. And it is. And it, it, it definitely is. So he goes out 6-1. Or 6-3. Six to, six to 6-3, to and the Pirates get no runs. In the second, we go to the top of the third inning with the Braves uh, leading this one big already, 4 nothing, And Austin Riley is the batter leading off the third. He gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a double. So Austin Riley leading off with a double. And that brings up Swanson, our man Swanson, the shortstop, now on the Cubs in real life, but he has a man at second here with no outs for the Braves, and he gets a 5-5. He is a righty, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop X, the shortstop. Again, not real good, I don't believe, for the Pirates. No, he's a 4, E36. And that is a 19 and a 4 at shortstop. And that is going to be a ground. That's going to be a ground ball B, though. One away. So Swanson grounds out 6-3. to three. 
And Harris, Michael Harris is the batter with a man at second and one down. Now. And he gets a 6-10. 6-10 for a lefty uh, is going to be a ballpark single, but that's a 17. So I believe that is definitely an out. And um, and that's going to be a uh, line out to the second baseman. And Ozuna, Ozuna House, who had a solo home run the last time he was up. He's up with a man at second, two down, and he gets a 2-10. And that is going to be, let's see, what is it? Did he hit another one? He is a right-handed batter, and so... No, he did not hit another one. That is going to be a fly ball. A fly ball out. Because he did not get the ballpark homer that time. So he flies out to center field. And the Braves are held to their first zero inning. Although it almost wasn't their first zero inning. But it was in real life. And so here we go. To the bottom of the third, the Pirates are down four nothing, with uh, Ben Gamble is as the batter, as the batter Ben Gamble. He gets a five eight, and he is a lefty, so that's going to be a walk. They walk Ben Gamble. Not really a uh, a great strategy. <coughs> I mean, Gamble in 2022 hit 232. So what are you doing walking a, a, uh, a 232 hitter? I don't know. There's nobody on, and Tyler Heineman, the switch hitting catcher, comes up. He gets a 6-8, and uh, that is going to be a strikeout. So Tyler Heineman with the K, and um, Kevin Newman is the batter. One down. And that is a 5-5 five, five for Kevin Newman, the right-handed batter. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. He is a 1. That is a 10. That is going to be on his E rating. And he is a E8. So I will roll the dice. And that is a 6 on an E8 at shortstop. And that is going to be... A ground ball, A, and that is a double play. So, Newman hits into the inning-ending DP, smooth DP by the Braves. And we're going to the top of the fourth in a 4 nothing game in Mismatch Monday. Bryce Wilson trying to stay out there and hang on. Travis Darnold, the first batter, gets a 1-10 against a righty, and that's going to be a ground ball, second base C. So, he goes out. Um... Four to three. And that brings up William Contreras. William Contreras getting a 111, and that is going to be a walk. So Contreras gets aboard with a walk. He scored earlier, and now a Ronald Acuna Jr. is up, and uh, he is two for two with a double and a single. And here he gets a 110 against a righty. That is going to be a double. Runner will stop at third. Acuna with another, yet another hit. He is really tearing this team up. And um, Contreras goes to third on that. Vaughn Grissom is up. He gets a 2-2, and against a righty, that's going to be a fly ball left field B. One away, but he does knock in the uh, he does knock in the run, the first run this inning, but the fifth run of the game for the Braves. And Matt Olson is the batter with a man at second and one down. And he gets a 6-7. Matt Olson, two strikeouts so far on the day. And he is a lefty. And that is going to be a line out to first base. So Olson can't buy his way on board. But again, he would rather have an Atlanta win. 
and Austin Riley with a man at second, and that is a 1-4, and that's going to be a ground ball, third base, A. So that is a 5-3, and the Braves do get a run, though, and they extend their lead now, going to the bottom of the fourth. The Braves have a pretty substantial 5-0 uh, lead, and Kevin Newman is the batter. He gets a 1-3. Um, no, no, this is Cabrian Hayes. Cabrian Hayes, and he's the batter. He gets a 1-3, and that is going to be a ground ball pitcher A. So he's out. 1-3. Um, and that brings Reynolds to the plate. Brian Reynolds gets a 6-11. 6-11, he's, a, he is a, he's batting left. He's a switch hitter, and that's going to be a walk. So he gets on, he gets aboard with a walk, and Sawinski is the batter. Sawinski up with one man out, one man on, and he gets a 1-9 against a righty. That's going to be a K. Sawinski goes down on a strikeout. He's 0 for 2 today with two strikeouts, and O'Neill Cruz comes up. He is getting a 5-5, and that's going to be a ground, let's see, yeah, ground ball shortstop, but he's a 1 that is a four, probably an out, and indeed it is, and that is the end of the threat, which really didn't kind of exist at all for the uh, Pirates. Six to three, and he's put out, and we go to the top of the fifth. Bryce Wilson still out there, having allowed five runs, but, you know, you're the Pirates. What do you have in the bullpen that's better than that? Dansby Swanson comes up, and he gets a two-four. And that is going to be a, um, let's see what that is, because it's a ballpark single, and that's a 16, and it looks to me like nobody gets on with a 16, so that is going to, in fact, be a fly ball right field. So Swanson is out with a fly to right, and that brings Michael Harris to the plate. One down. And he gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a ground ball pitcher B. So he goes out 1-3. Bryce Wilson throwing him out. And Marcelo Zuna has been hot, and he continues to be hot. He just ripped a double down the, down the uh, left field line. And man, Ozuna has been hot, hot, hot. You know that song from the 80s, Hot, Hot, Hot? Um, Buster Something sang that song, didn't he? But anyway, there's two down with Travis Darnode up, and that's a 6-7 for a righty against Bryce Wilson. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Darnode strikes out, Bryce Wilson gets him on the K, and no runs come in, although they did have a man 180 feet away, but they couldn't score him. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, and Rodolfo Castro is up. He gets a 6-7. He's a switch hitter, so he's batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. He K's the lead off the fifth for the Pirates, and that brings to the plate uh, Diego Castillo. And he gets a 4-4, does Diego, and that is going to be a... Uh, he is a righty. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. Center fielder is a 1-E-3. And that is a 2. So 2 and 1 at center field. And that's going to be a fly ball B. F8. And that brings Ben Gamble up. Ben Gamble getting a 210, and that is going to be a foul out to first base. No runs come in for the Pirates. In the fifth, we're going to the top of the sixth. Bryce Wilson is still out there. He barely wiggled his way out of the last inning. He's given up five runs in five innings, but again, it's the Pirates, people. And that is a 1-8 for William Contreras, and he gets a strikeout. So, you know, he's showing he's still got some gas in the tank 
as the leadoff hitter for the Braves in the sixth inning strikes out. And that brings up Acuna, who's been on every single time. And this is no exception. He gets a single. Acuna is four for four with two doubles and two singles. He just, uh, you know, Bryce Wilson just can't, he doesn't have his number, to put it lightly. 2-8 for Vaughn Grissom is going to be a single double asterisk. And so that puts runners at the corners. Acuna moves over to third. Bryce Wilson getting his ass handed to him. And that brings Matt Olson up. Matt Olson now, he has had Matt Olson's number. And that's a 5'11 for a lefty. And that is going to be a ground ball first base X. Their first baseman is a 5. 5E30, that's a 13. And that is going to be on his, uh, that's going to be on his E rating. And he is a 30. Roll the dice, it's a 10. 10 on an E30 is going to be an E1. And so the runner goes to second that was on first, and he's safe at first, and a run scores. And, and so Olsen finally gets aboard, but this time it's with an E3 by the first baseman. And another run does score, though. And Matt, uh, or not Matt, Austin Riley is the batter with two on and only one out. And that is a 5-6. He's a righty. And that's going to be a fly ball right field B. Two away. And Swanson is the batter. Two on. Two outs. Two nine. That's a strikeout. So he's showing he's got some gas in the tank. But man, I mean, it's six nothing after five and a half. So... I don't know what kind of gas you're talking about, but Tyler Heineman, the catcher, is the batter. And he gets a 1-8, and that is going to be a single. Tyler Heineman working his way on with a single. And up steps Kevin Newman. Hello, Newman. He gets a 3-6, and that is actually going to be a single and again it's a split single so it's only one base but you know the pirates at this point they'll take it they'll take whatever they can get they're down six nothing and brian hayes comes up he gets a five nine five nine he's a righty and that is going to be a fly ball right field b so he flies out to right that brings a brian reynolds Two men on, only one out. He's a switch hitter. That is a 410. 410 for, a, for against a lefty. That is going to be a uh, let's see. He's a he's batting left. And uh, that is a ballpark single. So yes, he does get a single. And that loads the bases. The Pirates with their biggest threat of the day right here. With Sawinski, the batter. Sawinski now, he had a few home runs in 2022. He had 19 of them in 326 at-bats. So easily we can say he's a power hitter. Gets a 6-6 six, six, and he's batting left. And that is going to be a fly ball right field B, but that will score the runner on third. And so he gets a sack fly. And a run does, does come in for the Pirates. The first run of the game for the Pirates. For the Buckos and Neil O'Neill Cruz. Comes up. He gets a 6-10 batting lefty. That is going to be a third base X. The third baseman for the Braves is a 3-E-14. And that is a 17. 17-3 is going to be a ground ball B. And so... Um, O'Neill Cruz is out, 5-3, but the Pirates do get a run in the bottom of the sixth. It is 6-1, and they're going to make a pitching change. Okay, his replacement is going to be Dylan Peters, and Dylan Peters is a left-handed pitcher. And he was 5-2 with a 4.58 earned run average in 39 innings. He allowed 35 hits. 
He is the new pitcher for the Pirates here against the uh, Braves leading off in the seventh with uh, Michael Harris, and they are indeed. And that is a 4-5. He is a lefty on a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. Dylan Peters strikes out Harris for the first out. And uh, let's write him in here. Dylan Peters. And we'll note that the seventh was his first inning. Marcelo Zuna. He has had a day, hasn't he? He is um, two for three with a double and a home run. And that is a 5-8. He is a righty. And that is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman for the Pirates is a 3-E-4. Um, that is a 15. 15 and 3 is going to be our on-ball C. So that is an out, 4-3. to three. And Darnold comes up. Travis Darnold, the catcher. Today he is 0-3 for 3 with a strikeout. And he gets a 5-5. Five, five. He is a righty. And that is going to be a fly ball center field B. So he flies out to center. So Dylan Peters comes in. Gets the Braves 1-2-3. But his team is still down 6-1. And um, we are going to let Ian Anderson at least pitch this inning. O'Neill Cruz comes up. He gets a 3-11. 311 and he's a lefty uh, batting against a righty. That's a ground ball second base. So wait a minute, that was Castro. So 311 for Castro is a ground ball shortstop. So he's still um, out. And that brings up Diego Castillo is the batter. He gets a 2-5. 2-5 is going to be a single. So Castillo gets on with a single. That's his first hit of the day. He's one for three with Ben Gamble up. The left-handed batter, he gets a 110. That is going to be a ground ball B. And so Gamble is aboard with two down. And Heineman is the batter. He's the catcher today. Today that's a 5'11. He is going to be batting, um, uh, he would be batting left, so 5'11 is a ground ball to the pitcher. The pitcher is a, what, well, I didn't write him down? All right, well, let's see what he is. He is a 2E0, and that is going to be a 12. And that is going to be on his E rating, but he's a zero, so that means it's a ground ball double play, but it doesn't have to be a double play. It's just an out, so it's a one to three. And that is it. And no runs come in for the Pirates in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. Dylan Peters is still out there, and why not? He pitched well in the seventh. William Contreras comes up. He gets a 5-5. Five, five. He is a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball center field B. So Contreras flies out to center. There is one down now. And Ronald Acuna Jr. on every time so far. And 4-8. And guess what? It's no different. He walks. So he's on a board with a walk. And Grissom is up with one down, one on. That is a 5-9. He is a righty. That is going to be a ground ball shortstop. Shortstop, not very good for these guys, is a 4-E-36. Um, That's a 20 at shortstop. And that is going to be a ground ball B, and so it's a fielder's choice with Grissom now being on and Matt Olson, who hasn't had a very good day. He's gotten on by an error and that was it. 
6.5 for a lefty. That is going to be a pop out to first base. So Olsen pops out. And uh, the Braves get no runs in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth, and now in the bottom of the eighth, we are going to take out Anderson. Okay, the Braves are going to bring in Will Smith. In 2022, Will Smith was 0-1. He had a 438 earned run average, and he allowed 35 hits in 37 innings. He was uh, roughly equivalent to uh, Dylan Peters, who's pitching for the Pirates right now. But anyway, he is out there, and uh, Tyler Heineman will be the leadoff hitter for the Pirates in the eighth. Or no, he won't. No, he won't. I stand corrected. It's Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman will be the leadoff hitter. He gets a 5-8, and Smith is a lefty, so that differs. Just like uh, Peters is a lefty, relieving a righty. The same thing here for the uh, for the Braves. and So that's a 5-8, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. The second baseman for the uh, Braves is... A 4E17, and that is a 7. And 7 and a 4 is going to be a ground ball C. So Newman, Newman getting robbed. And he goes 4 to 3. And that brings up Cabrian Hayes. And he gets a 6 9. He is a righty. And 6-9 is going to be a home run. Cabrian Hayes hits the ball deep and out of here. And the, uh, the Pirates get another run. And now Brian Reynolds is up and he gets a 6-7. And he is a switch hitter. So he's batting left and that's going to be a strikeout. And Sawinski is the batter. And Sawinski gets a 2-3, and he is a he's batting against a lefty, and that's a ground ball short. So he goes out 6-3. But the Pirates do get a run in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth with the uh, score right now. What is it? 6-2? It is 6-2. Dylan Peters is going to stay out there because he's been pitching great. He's been pitching out of his butt. And Austin Riley is up. He gets a 3-4. That is going to be a walk. So Austin Riley leads off the ninth inning with a walk. No outs. Man at first for the Braves. And Dansby Swanson is the batter. He gets a 1-9, and that is going to be a single double asterisk and move runners at the corner. So now Dylan Peters falling apart all of a sudden. Maybe he was past his inning of weakness, um, but uh, really he wasn't. So Michael Harris is up, and that is a 6-5. He is a lefty. 6-5 is going to be a pop-out to first. So Michael Harris in a key situation... Doesn't get the run home. And Ozuna, who, like we said, he's been scalding hot today. He is, uh, well, he's only really two for four, but that's pretty hot. And a double and a home run. And he comes up and he gets a 1-8. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Ozuna strikes out. And the Braves might strand runners at the corners. When they had runners at the corners and no outs. And Darnold is up and he's a 6-6. Six -six. Right-handed batter, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop B. And that might be exactly what happens, because it's hard to envision this game going to extra innings on the Pirates coming up with uh, four runs right here. But anything could happen. Will Smith is still out there, and O'Neill Cruz is up. He gets a 5-4. He is a lefty. That is a center field X. The center fielder is... Um, the center field is, uh, I had the wrong innings pitch for him. Um, he is a one E three and that is a three and probably that's an out and it is, it's a fly ball. 
So Cruz flies out to center to lead off the Pirates' ninth, and that brings to the plate Rodolfo Castro. And he gets a 2-7, and against a lefty, that's going to be a fly ball center field. So the first two guys fly out to center, and now that brings up Diego Castillo. And that's a 3-7, and that is going to be a ground ball, first base C. So he goes out to three, and that is going to be your final, um, with the final score being 6-2. to two. The uh, Pirates going down in defeat to the Braves, both of 2022, by the score of 6-2. to two. The winning pitcher was Ian Anderson, and the losing pitcher was Bryce Wilson. And uh, Will Smith does not get a save for this. And that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.